Good afternoon, or good evening, depending on where you are in the world. We time travel on this YouTube channel. Anyway, I hope you're good. My name's Sped, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is sponsored by the lovely people at Enya, and we're checking out this guitar, the Nova Go Sonic. fire is it just wait okay i know you've got questions what's this what's this this guitar's got a little bit of tech inside it it's it's very clever but not as clever as me as we've been through before this is a knob and a button and this is a speaker built into the guitar but we'll get to that first we're going to talk about the design the body material is acoustic carbon fiber composite. Shape is modern Les Paul style, and it's a matte finish. Scale length is 24.724 inches or 628 millimeters. Neck profile is asymmetrical, a hybrid of a C shape in the higher frets and a V shape in the lower frets. It's got 22 medium high crown copper nickel silver alloy frets. Try saying that after two pints. The width of the nut is 42 millimeters and the truss rod is a heel mount truss rod with a wheel adjustment which you can see just above the neck pickup. In terms of the preset system we've got the Enya ES1 Pro system with the S1 DSP chip. The built-in speaker is 10 watts and apparently is vibration isolated as well. You've got a built-in 2600 milliamp hour battery You've got a USB-C port on the side, as well as headphone jack and instrument jack. And the machine heads are customized. They've got their logo on the back there, and they are, I believe, 18 to one ratio um, machine heads. You get this nice, soft, but thick gig bag with the guitar. And in the front pouch there, you'll find a power adapter, USB-C cable, uh, you get a manual, and also a truss rod adjusting wrench as well. Super light. I mean, if I picked that up with one, one hand there, barely gripping it, my weak arm, no problem. Nice beveled cutaway on the heel here. Super comfortable. I mean, if there were frets continuing beyond the neck pickup, I would be up here ripping them. You can get way up high. We've got two humbuckers. The neck is an Alnico 2, which is giving you a little bit more of a warm vintage PAF dynamic vibe. Whereas the bridge pickup is an Alnico 5, and that's a little bit more modern, a little bit more punchy. And um, yeah, controlled by this one volume control here, um, but it's also push-pull, which can take you between parallel and series. Let's have a little listen. Here's the neck humbucker. Over to the bridge. 
slouch as a normal guitar. I think I'm quite particular in the way that I like my guitars set up and how I like them to play. I've done nothing to it. I'm literally plugging straight into my fractal here, going into Logic, and that's how it sounds as an actual guitar. You may notice, you may not have noticed. If you did notice, let me know in the comments below. But it's got a zero fret just next to the nut, obviously. Um, not very common. I don't think so anyway. Um, but what I like about it is that anything we play as open strings usually is the nut, right? In terms of um, where the string starts vibrating and ends. Uh, but we've got a zero fret and then the nut. So I mentioned that the Novigo Sonic is made from carbon fiber, but apart from that being a very well-known composite material, what does that actually mean? Well, it's durable um, through diverse weather conditions, temperatures, and humidity. Um, I tweak my guitars here and there throughout the year, depending on how much I can be asked to put the heating on. I'm guessing that they're claiming this won't budge or as much. And also with it being chambered, don't know why I said it like that, chambered, apparently, um, acoustically, it performs very well. Um, great resonance throughout. So now we're just going straight into Logic without any processing, no amp, no effects. What a wonderful sound. But this is where we can introduce the smart features. I'm gonna long press on this button here. Makes a little click noise when it's on. You'll notice it's lit up green around the edge. That means I'm in my first preset. Now, when I first turned this on, I thought, that's quiet, but I'm on full volume here. And this button is actually a knob as well. Give it a little twist with our index finger. You don't have to use your index finger, but I would, I would recommend that you do, okay? Let's have a listen now. Definitely an improvement to the sound we had a second ago. Let's turn it off again. Just a DI. Bring processing back in. Now, if I give this a single press, it's going to take us over to dark blue preset. Nice little short reverb on that one. Over to the light blue.
syncing the guitar to the app was effortless. It came up straight away, Bluetooth. And first impressions of the app, it's cool. I like how you've got these big square pictures for the presets here. And obviously I can understand that um, these are some clean green presets to choose from. Um, and then I'm assuming we've got four more in the overdrive, uh, four more in the distortion and the high gain. The first clean preset that you hear on the green mode, a standard is called soft cry. This one's called Waves. I like that a lot. Let's check out some other overdrive presets. Texas. Stand in. Now the moment you've all been waiting for. This speaker, I'm ditching the lead. And I'm gonna hold down, big gray button, silver button. And now we've got electric guitar with effects coming out of the inbuilt 10 watt speaker. If I roll that off. You know, to my ear, when I put my head this way, I actually feel like there's an amp off to the right behind me. Changing over to the Waves preset. Go over to the Overdrive setting. How mad is that? It's so cool to be able to just take that with you anywhere and get some boss tones. It like in spot, like we all know we play guitar, right? But different sounds inspire us in different ways. I could sit here and go, think, oh, that's an average idea. Boring chord progression been done before. Now I can see the paycheck. I can see the audience. I'm inspired. Hey, Gary Moore would be proud of this one, wouldn't he? Go downstairs, get yourself a brew. Make yourself some dinner. 
Walk the dog in the rain. Once again, thank you to Enya for sending out the Novigo Sonic and sponsoring today's video. Appreciate it. What do you guys think of the guitar? Let me know in the comments below. While you're down there, you can also click on certain affiliate links, which will steer you in the direction of one of these. If you want to try one, bag one for yourself. Um, but yeah, I think I think it's great. They're around the £300 mark and a little bit below, I think, as well from certain places. Um, if you compare that to other smart guitars that we've tried, I think you're getting a lot of value for your money. What sets this apart for me though, is just it's the inbuilt speaker. I didn't know what I was gonna make of it at first, but the fact that you can get a really good overdrive tone with some reverb delay, um, you can add some chorus or like flange to your clean, get a bit of a Johnny Marr sound and you literally sat in the front room or outside or in the park and um, there's no wires, no nothing. Connect it to your phone to further customize the presets. You and your mates could have a couple of these. Acoustic set aside, you don't need anything. It's not acoustic, it's electric. What are you talking about? I'm so overwhelmed with what's possible nowadays that I don't know how to construct sentences anymore. But yeah, I think it's very cool. It's charging. Now, and the fact it's charging means I plan on using it again. So yeah, hope you enjoyed today's video. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel because that means we could do this again. And if you would like to support the channel further, you can do it on Patreon. We can have a little chat over there. And uh, yeah, you guys have a good week. I'll catch you soon.